Today we'll be learning how to add life to our project with pedestrian and vehicle placement and pathing. Let's begin with placement. To begin placing pedestrians, navigate to the Content Manager tab under the Camera Settings tab. Please note that in Fuser VDC, the Content Manager is located under the Construction Manager tab. Select the Pedestrians tab. In the Initial Animation drop-down box, you can select your desired initial position, either standing idle or seated. Next, select a pedestrian from the gallery. The pedestrian will lock to your mouse pointer. Move your mouse to the location you want to place your pedestrian. To rotate your pedestrian, hold shift and drag your mouse left or right. Once oriented, left click to place your pedestrian. Another of the same selection will remain on your mouse pointer. You can place multiples of the same pedestrian in this way. This works well with the random male and random female options. To end pedestrian placement, press the Escape button. You can similarly place seated pedestrians. Simply change the initial animation position to Sit. Select your pedestrian style. Locate your desired position. Orient your pedestrian. And left click to place. Vehicles can be placed in the same manner. First, select the Vehicles tab. Next, select your desired vehicle from the gallery. Move your mouse pointer to select a placement location. Hold Shift and drag the mouse to rotate the vehicle, and click to place. To move a currently placed vehicle or pedestrian, first select it. In the Element Properties box, click the Move button. Then repeat the placement steps to reposition your vehicle or pedestrian in a new location. To change a pedestrian's current position animation, first select it. In the Pedestrians tab, change the selected animation in the Selected Animation dropdown. You can also adjust your pedestrian's height with the height slider. Pedestrians and vehicles can also be applied to paths. For now, we'll only cover the basics of path creation. To begin creating a path, first ensure the Show Path box is checked. Next, click the Create Path button. A pin will appear on the end of your mouse pointer. Click a location on your project to place the pin and begin drawing your path. Continue clicking locations to draw out your motion path. The yellow arrows indicate the direction of travel. Once you've finished drawing out the path, press the Escape button to end path creation. To place a pedestrian or vehicle on a path, Simply select your desired pedestrian or vehicle and hover over the path. The path will highlight yellow. This indicates which path the model will be added to. Left click to add your model to the highlighted path. Created paths will accept both vehicles and pedestrians. If a path passes near a door, the door will auto animate as pedestrians approach. Once a pedestrian reaches the end of a path, it will disappear and reappear at the beginning of the path. When a vehicle reaches the end of a path, it will wait there for the respawn delay duration before respawning at the start. By default, the delay value is set to 5 seconds. To change the delay, select the Vehicles tab. Double-click on the Respawn Interval, 
and enter a new value. Pedestrian walking speed can also be changed. To do this, navigate to the Pedestrians tab. Select a pedestrian and adjust the metabolic rate slider. Lastly, to hide your paths, uncheck the Shell Path box.